Hey what's up everybody, it's Inu here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make these neon screens that I've been using on my recent videos. So I told you guys I'm not into doing tutorials anymore but you guys have been bugging me in the comments to make a tutorial so this is a 2020 Sino tutorial. I'm also going to be using PC for this tutorial, it's kind of new to you guys but let me know if you want to see more of these. This is Adobe After Effects CC, it's the software that I use to make pretty much all of my intros, outros and little animations that you see on my YouTube videos. For the neon sign screen, I like to use this very dark brick wall as my background and I just let it play for the whole video. So to make the text, you need the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen to insert the text. I'm just gonna type in Sinuis here and by the way, this font is gonna be down in the description below if you wanna download it. I'm just gonna put it somewhere in the middle. So what I like to do is to press on the text layer and if you hit T on your keyboard it's gonna bring up the opacity settings I like to bring up the opacity on the text all the way down to 20% usually that's a really good spot so what that does it makes the text 20% visible which helps to sell the illusion that the neon sign is off under effects and presets I'm gonna search in Saber and this is a third-party plugin which means it doesn't come with your after effects by default you need to download it so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so if you don't have Saber download it from the description below so we can't apply this effect directly to the text we need to apply it into a solid to create a brand new solid depending if you are on windows or mac you need to hit either command or control y i'm on windows so i'm gonna hit Control Y and it's gonna bring up this brand new window. Before you confirm the solid to be created, you need to make sure that the solid color is black. So if you hit OK, the solid will be created into our timeline. So we still have the Saber effect ready on our effect panel. So just grab it and throw it into our solid. So now you should see this blue light on your screen. So you should go to your layer, to your solid layer and under mode, you should see this normal. If you press on it, it's gonna pop up this long list. This is the blending options and the one that we should be using is add. After you press on add, you should see the text in the background. So now how do we shape this light to make it fit above our text? Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is to go to the effects control. You're gonna wanna find this customized control panel, extend it, go to core type and change it into text layer. And then we need to tell it to apply this effect to our text which is Sinu is here. If you press on it, as you can see, the light is following the text shape. However, there is a problem. The light is really bright. We can't even read the text. We can easily make it less brighter using these parameters. But first thing, I just want to change the preset. So if you press on preset, it's going to pop this really long list. Somewhere in the bottom, you're going to find neon, which is what we're going for. As you can see, now it kind of looks like a neon. To change the brightness, all you have to do is to go to glow intensity and reduce it. It depends on your composite, but I usually go for 40. As you can see, that's much better, but I think for this one, we need to reduce it even more. So I'm gonna go around like 30, maybe below 27. Yeah, I think that's kind of like, yeah, that's better, definitely, yeah. But to be honest, I think the background can be even darker. So to make it darker, you can actually go to effects and presets, type in brightness, and it's gonna pop out this effect. It's called brightness and contrast. You can drop it into the background and you can change the background darkness you can make it darker or lighter for this example we're gonna make it even darker i don't know what you think but for me that looks way better i don't know if you ever noticed on neon signs but all of them flicker they turn on and off but it's super subtle believe it or not this effect allows you to make your lights flicker under flicker you're gonna find this flicker intensity and the more you add to the flicker intensity the more the light flickers so usually i don't go for 60 but for this one just to let you guys see the effect i'm gonna go for 60 and if you play it you can see that subtle flicker and that helps the neon sign to look more realistic now can i make this on photoshop well of course i can make it on photoshop but why i like to do it on after effects is because after effects allows you to animate it it allows you to bring it up to life if we go back to the effects control we can see this start offset settings and if you play around with the value you can see what that does to the text so let's go to around one second on our video and then let's go to the start offset and press on that stopwatch that creates a keyframe on our timeline 
Now let's go back to the beginning of our video and go back to the start offset parameter and then bump up that value up to 100. Now if you play the video, as you can see, that creates this effect. I'll just let me make the animation a bit longer, maybe even longer than that. And as you can see, this is the effect that I always use on my neon signs. It's pretty sweet. And this is what I meant. You can bring up your neon sign to life using After Effects. Okay, let me show you something really cool. Let's do the same things that we did in the beginning of this tutorial. Create a brand new solid, make sure it's black. Then apply a saber effect to that solid. And make sure the blending option is on add and now we are going to be using the rectangle tool which you can find in the toolbar up top let's just draw a rectangle that surrounds our text now under customize core we are not going to be selecting a text layer this time we are going to set it to layer masks which applies our light effect into the mask that we just draw you can also change the parameters of the frame if you want you can make the preset neon and change the brightness and make it the same as the text and you can also do something that we didn't do for the text which is changing the color I'm gonna go for a really nice yellow here and you can change it pretty much to any color you want in this color palette I really don't like the color combo so I'm gonna change the text color from this pink into I guess a light blue kind of like cyan and I think that looks pretty good. So I gave the frame the same animation that I did for the text. If you want to do this, you can follow the same steps that I did for the text. And I think the more you animate, the more life you will give to your neon sign. Okay, now you know what you're doing. You can pretty much do anything you want. So I gave the neon sign a circular frame. And I did the same animation that I did for the text and the rectangle frame. Now there's a lot of ways you can create neon signs in After Effects. But this is my favorite way because you can edit pretty much anything. If you want to change the text, we can change it and we can type in like and subscribe which you should do right now and as you can see after we edited the text we still have the same color and even the same animation that we did which is pretty useful the only thing that changed is the text if you want to do like the same neon sign with different text this is really useful you don't have to recreate the whole thing just edit the text and i think with that we pretty much reached the end of today's video um if you learned something from today's video be sure to give it a like and if you are new to my youtube channel subscribe with post notifications on if you guys like this type of content like doing tutorials on pc i'm open to do anything just comment down below if you want to see more and what type of content you want to see in the future you ask and i deliver with that said thank you guys so much for watching today's video be sure to stick around on this youtube channel to watch more content and i'll catch you guys later peace out